November 29, 2014 from Doak Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida. It was the Florida Gators at the Florida State Seminoles. And the Seminoles had the ball first. They started off on their own 13. But then on first and 10 from the FSU 32, Jameis Winston was intercepted by Jabari Gorman. So now the Gators would take over on the Seminoles 39. But they wouldn't go that much further as Austin Harden would come out to attempt a 52-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Gators got on the scoreboard first with the score. Florida 3, Florida State nothing. So now the Seminoles got the ball for the second time in this game. They started off with it on their own 23. But on third and eight from the 25, Jameis Winston was intercepted for the second time in this game. In the second consecutive possession, this one by Quincy Wilson. And so now the Gators took over on the Florida State 48 with a little less than 12 minutes on the clock in the first. And they would end up marching down into the 22 just near the edge of the red zone, but their drive stalled there. And on fourth and six, Austin Harden came out to attempt his second field goal of the game. It was up, it was good. It was a 39 yarder, and that made it six to nothing Gators over the Seminoles. So now Florida State would get the ball for the third time in this game. There was seven and a half minutes left on the clock in the first. They're backed up against their own end zone on their own seven yard line. But Dalvin Cook ran for 21 yards on first down to bring it out to the 28. But they wouldn't get much further as they actually end up going backwards and punted it from the 27. And so now the Gators would take over on their own 30 with less than five minutes on the clock in the first. And on first down, there was a 42-yard pass from Harris to Powell. And that brought it into FSU territory at the 28. But their drive would stall on the 26, and so Austin Harden would come out to attempt his third field goal of the game. This one from 43 yards out. It was up, it was good, and it was now 9 to nothing Gators over the Seminoles. So now Florida State took over with a little over two minutes left in the first quarter. They were backed up once again against their own end zone. It was on their own four-yard line. They lost two yards on first down. Carlos Williams ran for a two-yard loss. So now a second and 12 from the Florida State two, and Jameis Winston was intercepted by Brian Poole. So the Gators intercepted Winston for the third time in the first quarter. And that gave the Gators the ball first and goal on the nine. And then Trayon Harris was intercepted by Terrence Smith, and the Seminoles now scored on the touchdown. As he returned it 94 yards. It's actually they were, <laughs> but it was now nine to seven Gators over the Seminoles. So the Seminoles trail by two. Still a minute left in the first quarter. The Gators now have the ball on their own 25. Taylor ran for five yards on first down, but then Harris lost two yards on second down. And the first quarter came to a close. So after one quarter of play, the score was Florida 9, Florida State 7. So that open up the second quarter was third and seven on the floor to 28 for the Gators. And Harris threw a pass to Robinson for a 12-yard reception to make it first down on the 40. They would end up punting the ball as they only would get to the 45. And so now the Seminoles would take over with a little over 13 minutes left on the clock before halftime with the ball on their own seven-yard line. They end up picking up a first down as Cook ran for four yards on first down and 10 yards on second and six. And now it was first down on the 21 for the Seminoles. Carlos Williams then ran for 27 yards to make it a first down at midfield at the Florida State 48. And then Williams ran for nine yards to make it second and one on the 43. But then Winston threw it to Rudolph and he lost a pair of yards. And it was third and three from the 45. Jameis Winston then went to Rashad Green. He picked up five yards in the first down to bring it to the 40. Then on third and nine from the floor to 39, Jameis Winston went back to Rashad Green and he picked up 29 yards in the first down as it was now first and goal on the 10. Winston then ran for three yards and it was second and goal on the seven. He then lost three yards. He fumbled it, but he recovered his own fumble. 
And now Florida State took a timeout. And it was third and goal on the 10. Jameis Winston dropped back and he hit Nick O'Leary for a 10-yard touchdown as the Seminoles took the lead with a score of four, Florida State 14, Florida 9. So now the Gators would get the ball with about eight minutes left before halftime. They had it on their own 23. On third and seven from the 26, Harris went to Quentin Dunbar. He picked up 14 in the first down at the 40. But then on third and six from the 44, Treyon Harris was intercepted by LaMarcus Brutus. And now the Seminoles took over on their own 17 with a little less than six minutes on the clock in the second quarter. Dalvin Cook then ran for 23 yards and a first down that brought the ball to the 40. Then on second and 10, Jameis Winston ran for six yards and there ended up being a personal foul called against the Gators. And so now it was a first down for the Seminoles on the Florida 39. Winston then went to the tight end, Nick O'Leary, for a 19-yard reception. It was a first down on the Florida 20. Winston then ran for six yards. It was second and four from the 14. Cook picked up 10 on a run. And it was now first and goal on the four. Carlos Williams lost a pair of yards. And it was now second and goal on the six. And Jameis Winston went to Nick O'Leary for a six-yard touchdown pass that made it now Florida State 21, Florida 9. So now Florida got the ball on their own 25 with about two minutes left before halftime. They went three and out, and they punted it to Florida State. Florida State would end up faced with a third and 15, and Cook picked up three. And so now on fourth and 12, they would actually end up going for it and they ended up losing yards and they fumbled the ball it was crazy but now f the Gators ended up with the ball on the Florida State 15 and Clay Burton caught a 15 yard touchdown pass by Trayon Harris and it was now a 5 point game with the score Florida State 21 Florida 16 with just less than a minute left before halftime so now Florida State would get the ball back and they would bring the first half to a close. So at the end of one half of play, it was Florida State 21, Florida 16. The Gators would start things off in the third quarter. They would start off on their own 42 after a 40-yard return on the opening kickoff of the second half by Andre Du Bois. So now Kelvin Taylor would pound the ball and get them into the red zone and they would end up stalling on the 14 and out would come Austin Harden to attempt the 32 yard field goal it was up it was good and it was now a three point game with the score Florida State 21 Florida 19 so now the Seminoles would get the ball with a little over 10 minutes on the clock in the third they had on their own 23 but they would end up punting it from their own 24 after three plays so they went three and out so now the Gators would get the ball with about eight minutes on the clock in the third, but after six plays, they would punt the ball. So now Florida State got the ball back. They had it on their own 20 with about a little over five minutes left in the third. But then on third and 11 from the 46, after having picked up a first down, Jameis Winston was intercepted for the fourth time in this game, this one by Brian Poole. And so now the Gators would take over on the Florida State 33. They wouldn't get much going, and they would end up going for a 52-yard field goal as Austin Harden came out to attempt the kick. It was up, and he just missed it just wide right. And so the score remained 21-19, Seminoles over the Gators. So now Florida State would get the ball on their own 35, and Dalvin Cook would run for 17 yards and bring the third quarter to a close. So after three quarters of play, it was a three-point game with the score Seminoles 21, Gators 19. So now Florida State would open up the fourth quarter with the first down on the Florida 48. They would end up with a second and eight from the 46. Winston would hit Jesus Wilson for an eight-yard pass and made a first down on the 38. But then on third and two from the 30, Winston was sacked by Dante Fowler and Darius Cummings for an eight-yard loss. So now it was fourth and ten. They ended up going for it. And they picked up four, but they did not get the first down, and so they turned the ball over on downs. And now the Gators took over with less than 12 minutes on the clock, trailing by three with the ball on their own 34. They would end up with a huge... Well, they would end up actually getting into field goal range, and they ended up, actually on the first down, they had a huge play 
Treyon Harris to Demarcus Robinson with a 41-yard reception that brought it into Florida State territory. They have to settle for a 42-yard field goal attempt. Out came Austin Harden, and he kicked it, and it was no good. So now it remained a three-point game with the score 21-19 as the Gators missed a chance to tie it up. Or actually go ahead. They were down by two. So now Florida State with less than 10 minutes on the clock. They had the ball on their own 25. They ended up getting into field goal range. And Roberto Aguayo would end up kicking a 37-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. That extended the lead to five with the score now Florida State 24, Florida 19. So now the Gators would get the ball trailing by five, needing a touchdown with about three and a half minutes on the clock. They had on their own 22. First down, Trayon Harris ran for 11 yards to pick up first down to bring it to the 33. They ended up faced with the fourth and eight. They ended up getting a pass interference call that gave them new life as it was now a first down on the 50. Then three incomplete passes would bring up fourth down. They would elect to go for it. And Trayon Harris threw his fourth incomplete pass in a row, and that turned the ball over on downs as now Florida State would get the ball as their defense came up huge. And they would just give the ball to Dalvin Cook as he just kept running the ball. And they ended up punting the ball to end the game. And this game came to a close with a final score. Florida State 24, Florida 19. So the Florida State Seminoles remain undefeated on the season. They're 12-0, 7-0 at home. And they are now extend their winning streak to 28 games as they have now gone back-to-back -back undefeated for two straight years. It's the first time they've done that in school history. They're actually the 16th team to do that since 1950. And the Florida Gators are now 6-5 on the season. But in this game, Jameis Winston was 12 for 24 with 125 passing yards, two touchdowns, and four interceptions. He had 16 rushing yards off of seven carries. Trayon Harris, had he was 13 for 32 with 169 passing yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. He was the leading rusher for Florida. He had 41 yards off of nine carries. The leading rusher in the game was Dalvin Cook of Florida State. He had 24 carries for 144 yards. He also had 28 yards receiving off of two receptions. Nick O'Leary had four receptions for 52 yards and two touchdowns to be the Seminoles' leading receiver. The leading receiver in the game was Demarcus Robinson of the Caters, who had four receptions for 71 yards. And in this game, we saw six interceptions, four interceptions for the Gators. As Brian Poole had two interceptions, and Jabari Gorman and Quincy Wilson each had a pick. And then on Florida State side, Terrence Smith and LaMarcus Brutus each had picks as well. So Florida State, despite the four interceptions by Jameis Winston, holds on to win this game. It's a couple of big missed field goals, and they win this one by five points with the final score, Florida State 24, Florida 19.